Hi everyone, Sharon Richardson here. I'm just going to do a short uh, tutorial on uh, layering your uh, HTV or Cricut iron on onto a t-shirt using registration marks. Okay, so let's begin. Right, I've opened up a project called Peekaboo Cricket, uh, green, white eyes, middle shirt. Um, and this one is I'm using on a t-shirt today. Now this will be in a iron-on, Cricut iron-on. And what I'm going to show you is how to use a registration uh, mark in order to get them in the correct position. So I'm just going to draw a box around that and bring my peekaboo down a little. And I will make it smaller um, before I actually uh, go to make it. So now the first thing that I do is I'm going to shape and I'm going to choose a star. Sorry, that's my busy mini press. And with that star, I'm then going to bring it over and I'm going to make it roughly about that big. Now I'm going to put it away from the antenna here. And for those of you that want to save all your vinyl, you can actually cut in and around it, okay? Um, so now with this star, I'm then going to make three of them. So I've got three stars now. And then what I'll do is I'll come up here to the line type uh, where next to that, which is the color. And then I'm going to change that one to black. Then I'll click on the next one and I'm going to change that one to green. And then the last one I'll then change to white. Okay, so I've got my three stars there. The next thing that I do is to grab all three stars and then I'll go up to a line and then I'll simply center it so that one goes on top of the other. Then I'll go over to my layers panel and whilst holding down my control key on a PC or a command key on a Mac, I will then simply choose the black star and then I'll go down to uh, the black background of the kitty and then I'll simply attach those. So you get this, right? Then I'll send that to the back. So I've still got what I'm, um, the project that I'm making. Then I'll go to the white star and then I will hold my control key down and I will choose both eyes because they're white. So it's color to color here. And then whilst holding my, my control key, or as I said before, a Mac would be your command key, and then I'll simply attach those. Then I will go down to the green star and the green cutie, and then I will attach those. Okay, so now we have the black star attached to the black, we have the white attached to the white, and we have the green attached to the green. Okay, so when you move them away, you actually have the star above each one. Now I'm just going to undo there because I need to make this smaller, and by making it smaller, you then choose everything. So you're choosing selecting all, and then I simply want to, well, I can group it together so I can keep it together and move it around on my on my canvas here, or you, you can see it on your screen. And then I'm simply going to make it around about two, I like it at about 2.3, 2.4, make it 2.4. And that will be big enough for what I want on my t-shirt, okay? Because I'm going to have it like it's coming out of a pocket, but it's not. Uh, so there you have the uh, design, right? With your registration marks. And then once that's done, um, you can go up and save it. But I use this one in a t-shirt, in the middle of a t-shirt, as well as on a, a canvas bag, etc. So I'll just leave it the way that it is. And then I'll just simply go to make it. Now, as you can see on the first match, we have the eyes are in the correct position and then we have the star. And then we go to the next one, the next mat, and I have the background of the kitty and the star. And then I go to the third mat and I have my cutie there 
and I have the star. And that will give us the line up when we go to um, iron it on. But there's one more thing that I do need to do. Now you can do this um, separately. So on the first mat you can mirror, but then you have to remember to mirror the other mats when you're cutting them out. So a hack on that would be to cancel our cut. We come up here and select all. And then I simply go up here to flip and I flip it horizontally. So now everything is back to front. I can then go to make it. I don't need to mirror my images because they've already been mirrored by flipping. And then I have everything backwards, if you can see that there. Then I simply continue and choose my machine. I've got to switch it. There we go. Choose the machine that you're using. Oh, and I've got another window open, so it's going to ask me to retry. Okay. Uh, choose your machine, and then I'll cut this, and then I'll come back to you. Now, yeah, once you have your piece, uh, your pro the pieces of your project uh, cut, then you want to go to Cricut.com, uh, the heat guide and then choose the easy press that you will be using for your project. Um, I'm going to be using the Cricut Easy Press Mini today. Um, I have uh, everyday iron on. And then my base material will be 100% cotton t-shirt. So I'm going to apply that. And then it simply gives me how long I need to preheat for, how long I need to actually press for. Um, and constant movement with your little um, Easy Press Mini. Um, flip and then press for 15 seconds on the back as well. And of course, with the everyday iron on it is a warm peel. Now, also I will be doing um, a glitter layer as well. So then I simply change the uh, material I'm using, which will be a glitter um, iron-on. I'm going to select the 100% cotton again. I'll apply that. And I basically have the same thing. It's the same um, temperature, it's the same length of time, and it's also uh, the same warm peel. So now we'll then go over to our T-shirt and then I'll show you the layering with. Right now I've got them, the pieces um, cut and weeded. Uh, now I just have to do, well when I say weeded, I just have to finish doing the eyes here. And I'm going to leave the small piece in the eyes behind like so. And that's the last piece that I need to weed out. Let's take this piece out of here. There we go. This is very fine because it's so small. Now my star is at the end here and I've actually cut a little piece into it already. And then what I'll do is I'll cut the end off down here some of the transfer there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that transfer star over the top, being careful not to get that, doesn't matter which way it goes, not to get the transfer overlapping on the antenna here. Now I'm going to put this at the corner of the t-shirt here and I do need to preheat it a little first. I've actually put it on to uh, the temperature which is the medium temperature for the mini press. I'm going to place this down onto the t-shirt where I want it to go and I still have that there with my star. Then what I'll do is I shall get some 
heat transfer tape, this one here that we use for infusible ink. And I'm going to place that just over that star, that star piece there. Well, not on the star, but a little bit further up from there, just so I've got that laying over the top. Now I'll press this. The star won't come out onto my t-shirt because I have placed that piece of transfer tape underneath it, making sure that I haven't got any near the antenna there. Okay, so now I'm going to place my easy press over it and I'm going to use my timer up there on the clock on the wall because this one, like unlike the other easy presses, it doesn't have a timer on it. So you're going to have to do this by hand. I am using a Easy press mat underneath. Uh, this is everyday iron on. If you're wondering what sort of vinyl or, you know, um, iron on vinyl that it is, it is um, infused, uh, sorry, not infusible. It is everyday iron on. And there we go. So now we'll just wait for a couple of minutes here. And um, yes, I do need to get my nails done. Hoping that the salon is open tomorrow. I'm surprised that they've lasted this long. They're actually my nails, but um, I do get them coated in s, &S. Um, So now we'll make sure that that cools down a little before we actually take that off. But while we're waiting for this, we can then go ahead and just snip that little bit over like so, making sure that we still have our star in place there with our tape. And then what we do is we start to peel this back. Now when you're peeling your transfer off, make sure that you keep it down onto the t-shirt as low as possible. Okay, so that you're not, you don't pull upward, you actually roll it back. All right, so there's our first layer. And then our next layer will be our white of our eyes. So now we're going to place it on here and place our star directly over the one from before. And that will give us the exact spot to do our eyes. So you're matching up the stars so that they're directly one on top of the other, which will then give you the right place of where to put uh, the place that you're, the piece that you're using there. Now, if you don't have what's known as a Teflon cloth, such as this one, or uh, you don't have a Raja cloth that you can buy a um, spotlight and it stops it from scorching and it also stops the rest of your um, vinyl from lifting. I prefer to use the cloth, but if you don't have one, then use a piece of the transfer that you've taken off. You can actually use that, place that back down on there and then you can press on that one. I've got a cloth here, so I will be using that one. And off we go again. Now they will be in the exact spot that they need to be, simply because we've matched up the stars. Right, there we go. Now, our star will have pressed down onto the black one behind it, but it will not have pressed down onto the T-shirt. So now we take that off. There we go. So yeah, they look good so far. And now we've just got our last layer 
which is our glitter layer. Uh, just be aware that you cannot put everyday iron on on top of glitter layer and then expect it to stay there. Uh, it does have a lot of ebb and flow in our glitter um, from a pressing on point of view. So now I'm just going to match up our stars again. And I want this to be just offset on that black there. So it's just offset here. There we go. Bring it over a little bit because it's not quite on that star. The reason that I use a star and not a piece of uh, like a rectangle is because it's got the five points on it. And from those five points, you can get it basically exact as to where you want it to go. All right, so that's where we are there. Just bring that down a little bit there, that piece. And this time, I'll use a piece of the transfer that I took off before. Just make sure that you don't have any little pieces left on there from the prior, a little bit of fluff or something there, I don't know what that is. It's a fluff, I think, yeah. Not vinyl, just a piece of fluff. And I do want this one to get out a bit straighter. There we go. All right, so, then putting on the last piece, I'm going to use the transfer tape this time. Just pop it over the top like so, so that you can actually see a little bit better. And then we're straight on there with our pressing. Now with the mini press, you do have to move it around so that you don't scorch anything in the one place to being there too long. but it does have an even heat on the mini press as it does on the others. Right, so got that one done there. And then we just lift this one up. It'll bring the other as well. And we're probably going to lose that little piece there. It's so, so fine. That's okay. I don't mind that. Um, and then we can take our stars off. There we go. And there you have it. There is our cutie. And I will put the cloth over the top. Give it a quick press on the top and then again on the back. And I'll just turn it around and then give it a little bit of a press on the back of it. Now, unlike infusible ink, you don't have to actually put any card or anything on your uh, heat press mat. Easy press mat. I've got one at the top, up there, and I've got one at the bottom down here. And there you have it. There is your layering for your iron-on and doing it with a registration mark. So I'd like to thank you for watching and look forward to another tutorial next time.